The big feature here is you can take any bottle of wine in the world, point your phone at the label, and we scan it for you, and you'll find any wine out there. Uh, we have a database of 4 million wines in our database, and you'll get a rating and everything on that. So, so that's what we do. That's our core feature. So you scan the label. I mean, you already have the information that you, have, that, that you see on the label. So what extra information do you give the uh, connoisseur? So actually, you know, when you walk into a supermarket and look at this wall of intimidation of all kinds of wines, you don't have a lot of information. Uh, you have, of course, these beautiful labels going on. But really, you don't know how good it is. What do other people say about it? So we've gathered all this information for you in the app. So you have ratings, uh, you have reviews, and you have, you know, whatever everybody's saying about this particular wine. How about price point? If I'm having a bottle of it in a restaurant and I've spent $75 on it, I the vino it to you. Will you tell me what I can pay? What it would cost me at other retailers? Uh, so yes. Knowing how um, much I'm getting <laughs> jacked in a restaurant affects how much I like it. So we actually, we enable people to actually tell us what they paid for the wine, and that uh, information is also available in the app. So, uh, you know, I'm not always recommending people to do that. It can be sort of, oh, shit, did I pay too much for this? But, uh, you know, that's life. But we actually have that information, too. Uh, I think we probably always pay too much in a restaurant, right? I mean, yeah. What, yeah. is there a formula, by the way, Heine? Is there a formula for uh, how much restaurants overcharge you for a bottle of wine? Yeah, I think it actually varies a lot from country to country, uh, but in the U.S. I'd expect like 2x, uh, but then again, you know, they give you a, a service and they open a bottle for you and, and so on. So there's, there's something else included in the restaurant. What are you finding? I mean, it's interesting to uh, crowdsource things because you get the real fanatics, um, the real connoisseurs uh, all in the same community together. What are you learning uh, since you've brought this app out about wine? Yeah, that's a good question. We're, of course, learning all kinds of stuff. Just, just to give you a little bit of a background, so we, we now have over 6 million users on the app, which actually makes it you know, not only the biggest app in the world, but also the largest wine community ever built in the world. Um, but we, you know, much like Bloomberg, we do all kinds of analysis uh, on the data and you know, what's coming in there. Funny thing we found in our piece we just did a couple of days ago was about you guys from New York. Uh, turns out that uh, you really like the French stuff, so when we average out what what uh, people drink in the U.S., you know, Bordeaux and Bourgogne in, in New York is 2.5x of average in, in the U.S. Can you help me understand, if I'm having a wine in a restaurant, I, I use Vivino, can you help me figure out other wines similar to that that I might like? Because, yes, you might find one that you like, but they might not carry it in other restaurants. Is it possible to build a relationship with you based on my tastes? Yes, for sure. So, so that's the feature we launched last week. It went incredibly well. So we, we've taken all the wines we have and split them onto 250 regional wine styles. Um, and this will help you say, you know, if you like a particular style, we'll, we can group them and show you what the best I wines are. I mean, we have to leave it there. Are. You know what style I like? All of it. 